Muhammad, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Those who disbelieve and bar people from the path of Allah, he renders their works vain. But as for those who bear faith and do deeds of righteousness and believe in that which is revealed to Muhammad, for it is the very truth revealed by their Lord, he has purged them of their sins and has improved their spiritual and temporal condition. That is because those who disbelieve follow falsehood, while those who believe follow the truth revealed by their Lord. That is how Allah explains their conditions to people, to make them understand. So, believers, now that you know the will of your Lord, when you meet in regular battle, those who disbelieve strike off their heads. After you have bound them fast in fetters as prisoners of war, then afterwards release them, a must, either by way of grace or by accepting ransom. That is the law until war lays down its weapons and it is over. Such is the ordinance of Allah. Indeed, if Allah pleased, he could have punished them in other ways. But the ways of warfare have been resorted to, so that he may reveal your worth at the hands of one another. As of those who are slain in the cause of Allah, he will never let their works go vain. He will guide them to success and will improve their condition. Rather, he will admit them into the garden, which he has made known to them in the Qur'an. O you who believe, if you help the cause of Allah, he will help you and make your steps firm. As for those who disbelieve, there awaits them perdition. He will make their works to see Islam fail and come to naught, bear no fruit. That is because they consider the revelations of Allah a burden. That is why he has made their works all go to waste. Have they not traveled in the land and seen how miserable was the end to which their predecessors who had disbelieved in the former prophets had come? Allah utterly destroyed them. The same fate awaits these disbelievers. That is because whereas Allah is a protecting friend of those who believe, the disbelievers have no protecting friend. Allah will make those who believe and do deeds of righteousness enter the gardens served with running streams to keep them green and flourishing. As for the disbelievers, they will enjoy themselves a little in this life and eat even as the cattle eat, and the fire will be the last resort for them. Prophet, so many townships were more powerful than this, your town of Mecca, which has driven you out. But we destroyed them, and they had no helper. Can those people who take their stand upon a clear proof from their Lord be compared to those whom the evils of their deeds are made to seem attractive? and who follow their low desires? Here is a description of the garden promised to those who guard against evil. Therein are streams of water which is unstaling, and streams of milk, the taste and flavor of which does not change, and streams of juice extracted from grapes, a delight to the drinkers, and streams too of clarified honey, and they will have in it all kinds of fruit, and a provision of protection from their Lord. Can those who enjoy such blessings of this garden be like those who shall abide in the fire for long and who will be given boiling water to drink so that it tears their bowels into pieces? And there are some hypocrites among them who pretend to listen to you. Yet when they go out from your presence, they say to those who have been given knowledge, what was it he said just now? These are the people whose hearts Allah has sealed and who follow their low desires. As for those who follow true guidance, he leads them far ahead in their right ways in the light of his guidance and grants them piety and restraints from evil suited to their condition. These disbelievers only wait for the promised hour of doom to take them unaware. Its signs have already appeared. But of what avail? Will their admonition be to them, and how will they be able to repent when it actually comes upon them all of a sudden? 
Believer, know therefore that there is no other, cannot be, and will never be one worthy of worship other than Allah, and seek his protection and forgiveness for your human shortcomings, and also for the believing men and the believing women. Allah knows your heart, where you move about, and your resting place. Those who believe say, Why is no surah or Quranic chapter permitting us to go to war revealed? But when a definite surah of basic and categorical meaning and speaking of war was revealed, you find those in whose hearts is a disease of hypocrisy, looking at you like the looking of a person whose understanding is clouded for fear of approaching death. Therefore, woe to them! More fitting and proper for them was to obey and to say what is just and good. And when the matter of fighting is once resolved upon, it is better for them if they remain true to Allah and fulfill the covenant they made with Him. Hypocrites, it is more likely that if you are given authority and power, you will create disorder in the land and violate your ties of kinship. Such are the people whom Allah has deprived of His mercy, so that He has made them deaf to hear the truth and has made their eyes blind so that they cannot see the right way. Is it that they do not earnestly seek to understand the Qur'an? Rather, their hearts are securely locked up by their own locks. Surely those who turned back to apostasy, after true guidance had dawned upon them, Satan has made fair-seeming to them this action of theirs, and has held out false hopes to them. That is because they, the hypocrites, said in secret to these Jews, who consider the revelations of Allah as a burden, we will obey you in some matters. But Allah knows their secrets. But how will they fare when the angels cause them to die, smiting them on their faces and their backs? They will be treated thus, because they followed that which called forth the displeasure of Allah and were averse to seeking his good pleasure. That is why he will make their deeds fruitless. Do the people with diseased minds suppose that Allah will never bring their malice to light? Indeed, if we so will, we could show them to you, so that you would know them by their appearance. Yet you shall, of course, recognize them from the tenor of their speech. Allah knows their empty words, as he knows your solid deeds. Muslims, we will put you to trial until we make manifest those among you who strive their utmost in the cause of Allah and those who persevere in patience, and we will entrust you with such tasks as may bring to light your reported metal. Those who disbelieve and hinder people from following the path of Allah and oppose the messenger after true guidance has become clear to them, can do no harm to Allah. But he will let such deeds of theirs bear no fruit. O you who believe, obey Allah and obey the messengers, and do not let your deeds go in vain. Allah will never grant protection from their sins to those who disbelieved and hindered people from following the path of Allah and then died while they were still disbelievers. Believers, when fighting once starts, do not slack so as to sue for peace. You will certainly have the upper hand. Allah is with you. He will never let you suffer a loss in the reward of your good deeds. Hypocrites, the present life is only idle sport and makes you ignore and forgetful of your duties towards God. If you believe and guard against evil, he will give you your reward and will not ask of you your wealth. Should he ask you of it and press you, you would show stinginess and this niggardliness will bring to surface your malice and hatred towards the divine faith. Behold, you are those who are called upon to spend in the cause of Allah. Yet some of you are niggardly. Remember that whoever is niggardly is niggardly only against his own self.
Otherwise, Allah is self-sufficient, having no needs, and it is you who are the needy ones. And if you turn back from the truth, he will replace you with another people, and they will not behave like you.